Hello, welcome to the sneak preview of the new custom ROM for the ZTE Blade, also known as the Orange San Francisco. This is Fish and Chips Release 2. Okay, we've made quite a few changes from Release 1. Uh, first change is we've decided we'd do four different versions of it. We'll do four different launcher versions. Firstly, we decided we'll keep the stock modified launcher that we had, which was the neon blue colour one with the transparent dock, with the see-through dock, the very simple minimalist looking one. So we've kept that. Uh, another one, a new one that we decided, we decided we'd start Launcher Pro. There are a lot of Launcher Pro fans out there, and it is, it runs really well. It is rather snappy, and it has been going for quite a long time. So I'm good reputation from that one. The third one, Zeem Launcher, we had that last time, and that had a very good response from you guys. Um, very simple and very lightweight, and yeah also very snappy now the new launcher that we've decided we decided on Nemus launcher I'm not too sure how you pronounce that N-E-M-U-S Nemus launcher amazing in my opinion really really light and really really quick uh, that's the one that I've got installed on this ROM just here okay first things first just a quick rundown of a couple of other changes we have installed a BBC iPlayer app which works perfectly, works like a dream, to quote my words in the last forum. It works absolutely perfectly off Wi-Fi. So if, let's turn the Wi-Fi on. Oh, it is already turned on. Oh, forgot about that. We have a notification bar power widget. Here's Wi-Fi, data, GPS, Bluetooth, and silent to loud to silent. Just there, all in our neon blue theme. Still kept the translucent slider bar too. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is now on. I'll open up BBC iPlayer and show you just how snappy it is. Actually does work really well. BBC iPlayer. Okay, to get BBC iPlayer working com uh, working really well, you have to do a couple of settings changes. Firstly, you go to menu button, then you press settings, video quality, and change it to if it's not already on 400 kilobytes per second, which is that one there. Okay, it runs really nicely off there. Okay, what should I choose an example to show you? Um, my favourite Master Chef, that one just there. Here we are. Okay, play in full screen. Okay, it's buffering, it's playing. Did you look at that, working nice and smooth. Can you see that? It's very nice, absolutely no ghosting, no nothing. Much better than the old BBC feed that we were getting off all the browsers. Um, unfortunately this is only after Wi-Fi, but that's all we've got for the moment. Hopefully we'll work on something better. Okay, enough of that for the time being. Next thing. Uh, we've gone on a little bit of a space saving mission with release 2 as opposed to release 1. We've tr we've cut down about 10 meg from our ROM size. So what did we delete? We deleted XT9 dictionary, we got rid of that whole thing. Um, we just thought, seeing as we had swipe installer which we believe is incredible, um, we'd get rid of XT9 which is a version that's probably yeah superseded by swipe. Uh, we added Spare Parts, that's another app which has had very good reviews. Spare Parts is just here. It's well used and there's over hundreds of thousands of downloads on the Android market here. Spare Parts, obviously all the battery stat settings, battery information settings. I'm sure you all know about that. Um, okay, the launcher itself, the Nemus launcher, I'll talk a little bit more about that. We thought it was absolutely incredible. We hadn't seen anything like it. Very, very lightweight and very customizable, and it's got a couple of uh, it's got a couple of features that we haven't seen before um, in other launchers as such, in other free launchers, to be precise. Firstly, there's a lock function for all those apps that you believe that need locking. So, if any unscrupulous individual was to try and gain access to my, I don't know, to my messaging dialer or market for instance you can lock it at the touch of a button now I've set the lock as a four digit number so for instance one two three four is my code as an example and so you can lock and un unlock your apps at will so at the moment they're unlocked 
I can access my messaging very easily there we are and if I wanted to lock it push up lock now try to access my messaging or my dialer oh it doesn't let you do it because it is locked excellent okay I'm in a bit of a rush here so that's not much more I can talk about uh, is there anything else of most importance yeah a couple of other things we've changed just a quick run through calculator we've decided to get rid of the stock calculator and put a slightly more lightweight version in just space saving once more looks very similar to the one we had before works just as well just a little bit light, lighter on memory okay this is uh, another feature of Nemus launcher we quite liked translucent app drawer you can change the settings of the app drawer to go horizontally and vertically and also the pinch zoom function pinch there we are very very fast very very snappy also there's a little running apps function there so you can see what's running at the same time so see I haven't closed BBC iPlayer for when I first showed you and messaging there oh yeah and you can oh, once I unlock I can end the tasks for them okay um, any more things I'll tell you about oh yeah uh, we've changed a couple of the UI sounds the user um, the user interface sounds uh, got a couple of new ringtones that we've ported from another mobile phone Samsung Galaxy Mini just thought it's a bit of a change not many people have done that before and a couple of new ringtones a couple of new notification sounds just to jolly things up okay uh, we hope you like our ROM it will be released Sunday afternoon today afternoon actually um, hopefully we'll get a bit of sleep and then we'll hook the downloads links up all on Modico so thank you very much for your time I hope you like it thanks